Well, in Central Illinois, school teacher says a Facebook hashtag has been making her job a lot easier. She says it's helping teachers help each other and save some money in the process. WCI3's Ariana Williams tells us how. As parents are preparing for back to school week, so are the teachers, but they have more on their supply list and it's harder to check it off. Ashley Burns is a fourth grade teacher at Kansas Elementary School, and this is the first year she's able to decorate her classroom since COVID. As a teacher and our students, we spend most of our time in the classroom. We're here all day, every day. We want students to want to be here. We want to be comfortable. We want them to feel at home. But making the kids feel cozy in the classroom can be hard on a teacher's budget. So one way that they're able to get it done is by helping each other out. There, I have three of my own children, so I'm buying school supplies for them to go back. And it's nice and every little bit helps. Even just one, one thing off of a list makes teachers happy. Burns has been using the clear the list hashtag for the past two years. She says the ability to connect with other teachers near and far has made her job a lot easier. This is a very small school, so um, this year I have 13 students, so I'm only reaching 13 parents, right? And so now I'm reaching presumably tens of thousands of people who are looking to support their local teachers. Getting a list cleared in rural community schools isn't as hard, but Burns says teachers in larger districts definitely need all the help they can get. I think the best thing you could do is just ask your local school or students, your student's teacher what they need and how you could help. It might just be time. They might not mean, need any materials, but even volunteering in the classroom or... In Kansas, Ariana Williams with WCIA3, your local news leader. And if you want to help a teacher this year, you can find what they need using hashtag clear the list and hashtag clear the list 2023 on Facebook.